So wait, what do you think this book's about? A boy on a boat in the ocean? What about you? I don't really think that's what it's about. I think it's probably about, like, a boy who just goes goes on a journey and kind of goes crazy. I don't think that's what that... Uh, <laughs> I don't think that is what it is about. Wait, how do I repeat that? I don't think that's what the book is about. Well, what do you think, Mr. Nips? Me? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's the uh, Freudian manifestation of the inner psychological dilemma that Pi is having growing up from a young boy into a man. I don't, I don't think that is what the book is about. I don't even understand what he's saying. So let's <laughs> just go ask other people what they think. What is Pi about? I think it's about that little mathematical Pi. And it comes to life. And it visits all kinds of different mathematical equations. And then it goes on this little raft that it goes from country to country, sharing what Americans do as 3.1614. So 3.14. So I think every March 14th, we should celebrate the life of Pi. What do you think life of Pi is about? I think the life of Pi so is about, it's like teaching um, that we need company to sustain our life. Like we can't just sustain off of food and water, but we need like actual company and companionship. And yeah. What do you think life of Pi is about? Um, I think it's about like a journey of a boy that turns into a man and that it's, he has to discover <laughs> life for himself and that he has to make choices, um, and he has to stick to them, whether or not other people are judging for him. Thank you. What do you think Life of Pi is about? I've heard a lot of different answers about what they think about Life of Pi. Do you have a better answer now? Sustaining life. And how do you think he sustains life, then? Well, Pi made a list of materials that he needed, and he used those materials as well. Mm -hmm. True. He, Richard Parker helped him, you see, like, going through obstacles like the blind man, and he just chores on his own boat. Don't forget, he also had to catch fish and learn how to fish on his own, and he also had to write a journal, so I think that is, def he definitely sustained his life then, but um, I think he still needed the tree left pie. What do you think the tree was about? Um, I think that was pretty much... Pi was kind of losing control of his mind, seeing, like, his feet burning in the sand, seeing, like, dead fish floating up on the lake, teeth in, a, teeth in the fruits, like, that was very odd. Wait, what? That's not sustainable. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe, his, maybe we were wrong. Maybe his life, he didn't really sustain his life that well. So, Mr. Nips, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Oh, well, I think the tree is a Freudian manifestation of the psychological instability and psychomachia of Pi's inner turmoil from childhood to adulthood. What are what you talking about? <laughs> do you think Pi just needs to like? I think so, because he learns how to catch fish and survive out in the ocean. Do you think Pi just needs to like? Um, how about no? I was continuously hungry. Man, that's a great sentence. I all right. This is another good one. I could hardly see them heaving an entire shark out of the water, let alone carrying it on their backs and disappearing with it. Man, what do you think about this book? Although I think our investigation was a little inconclusive, I still think I have a, a little bit of a better idea of what this book's about. Um, you want to see what Mr. Nips thinks about it still? I think so. Mr. Nips, what do you think about this book? Me? Well, I think it's the, the Freudian manifestation of Pi's inner psychological psychomachia struggle to come to grips with the fact that he's a boy growing up into a man. He has no clue what he's talking about. I still don't understand what he said.